We experience joy, anger, fear, and sorrow, often without restraint. But what if there was a way to harness these powerful emotions, to steer them towards tranquility and wisdom? Stoicism, an ancient philosophy that dates back to the 3rd century BC, offers a timeless roadmap to achieving emotional mastery. The Stoics, with their profound wisdom and disciplined approach to life, understood the importance of taming our emotions to live a fulfilling and purposeful existence. Drawing from the teachings of great Stoic philosophers like Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius, we will delve into the five rules of Stoicism that can empower you to take control of your emotions and lead a life guided by rationality, resilience, and inner peace. Rule 1. Understand what you can control. The first rule of Stoicism lays the foundation for emotional control by urging us to recognize the boundaries of our control. In the words of Epictetus, make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. In the grand tapestry of life, there are aspects we can influence and those we cannot. By obsessing over events beyond our control, we sow the seeds of anxiety and frustration. The Stoics advocate for a profound shift in perspective, emphasizing the importance of focusing only on what lies within our sphere of influence. This simple yet powerful concept forms the cornerstone of emotional resilience. Imagine a sailboat navigating the open sea. The sailor can control the direction of the boat, the angle of the sails, and the rudder's position. However, the wind, the waves, and the currents remain beyond the sailor's control. If the sailor fixates on changing the uncontrollable elements, they will be tossed about by the unpredictable forces of nature, ultimately leading to frustration and despair. In our lives, we encounter circumstances that are beyond our command. We cannot control external events, the behavior of others, or even the weather. Attempting to do so is an exercise in futility. The Stoics advise us to identify and accept the limits of our control thereby freeing our minds from unnecessary worry and emotional turmoil. To put this rule into practice, begin by distinguishing between what you can and cannot control. Create two mental categories, in my control and beyond my control. For instance, your actions, decisions, and attitudes fall under the former category, while the actions and attitudes of others, as well as natural disasters, fall under the latter. By adopting this mindset, you liberate yourself from the oppressive weight of trying to manipulate the uncontrollable, and you can focus your energy on what truly matters, your own thoughts and actions. Rule 2. Embrace the power of perspective. The universe is change. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Rule 2 of Stoicism is an invitation to explore the transformative power of perspective. It encourages us to view events not as inherently good or bad, but as opportunities for growth and learning. This shift in perspective enables us to transcend the limitations of fleeting emotions, allowing us to respond with wisdom and resilience. Imagine you're caught in a sudden rainstorm without an umbrella. Your immediate reaction might be frustration or annoyance. But from a stoic perspective, the rain is neither good nor bad. It simply is. The rain can nourish the earth, provide relief from the summer heat, and offer a chance to appreciate the beauty of nature in a different light. By reframing your perspective, you can transform an inconvenience into an opportunity for gratitude and reflection. This rule teaches us that our emotions are not solely determined by external events, but by our interpretations of those events. When adversity strikes, pause to examine your initial reaction. Is it driven by instinctual emotion, or can you find a more rational and balanced perspective? By consciously choosing how to interpret events, you gain control over your emotional response. To embrace the power of perspective, practice mindfulness and self-awareness. When faced with challenging situations, take a step back and question your initial reactions. Ask yourself, is there another way to look at this? By reframing your perspective and finding the silver lining in even the darkest clouds, you can transcend the grip of negative emotions and cultivate inner peace. Rule 3. Practice Negative Visualization 
We suffer more in imagination than in reality. Rule 3 of Stoicism introduces us to the concept of negative visualization, a practice designed to inoculate us against the inevitable trials of life. Instead of fearing the worst, Stoics suggest that we contemplate the loss of our most cherished possessions and relationships. Paradoxically, this exercise equips us with emotional resilience and a greater appreciation for what we have. In our modern world, the pursuit of happiness often involves an unending quest for more. More wealth, more success, more possessions. Paradoxically, this endless pursuit can leave us perpetually unsatisfied and anxious, always striving for the next goal. Negative visualization invites us to reverse this pattern by temporarily envisioning the loss of what we hold dear. For instance, imagine the absence of your loved ones, your health, or your material possessions. While this exercise may initially provoke discomfort, it serves a profound purpose. It reminds us of the impermanence of life and the fragility of our circumstances. By acknowledging that everything we value is subject to change and loss, we develop a deep sense of gratitude for the present moment. Negative visualization cultivates resilience as we realize that even in the face of loss, we can endure and find meaning. To practice negative visualization, set aside a few minutes each day to contemplate the impermanence of life. Focus on specific aspects, such as your relationships, your health, or your career. Allow yourself to feel the emotions that arise, whether they be sadness, fear, or gratitude. Over time, you'll find that this practice equips you with emotional fortitude and a heightened appreciation for the beauty of the present moment. Rule 4. Cultivate virtue as the highest good. Nature has given us the seeds of knowledge, not knowledge itself. Rule 4 of Stoicism centers on the pursuit of virtue as the highest good. Virtue, in Stoic philosophy, refers to qualities like wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. The Stoics argue that true fulfillment comes not from external achievements, but from aligning our actions with virtuous principles. In a world driven by the pursuit of wealth, fame, and power, Stoicism offers a refreshing perspective. It suggests that while external success may bring temporary happiness, it often proves elusive and transitory. True and lasting contentment, according to the Stoics, arises from the cultivation of inner virtues. Consider the pursuit of wealth as an example. While financial success can provide comfort and security, it does not guarantee happiness or peace of mind. Many wealthy individuals grapple with anxiety, stress, and a constant craving for more. The Stoics argue that this suffering results from the misalignment of values, where external gains are prioritized over internal growth. To cultivate virtue as the highest good, start by identifying the virtues you wish to embody in your life. Is it wisdom, the ability to make sound judgments? Is it courage, the capacity to face adversity with dignity? Is it justice, the commitment to fairness and ethical behavior? Or is it temperance, the moderation in all things? Once you've identified your virtues, set concrete goals and actions to nurture them. For instance, if you aspire to cultivate wisdom, commit to lifelong learning and critical thinking. If courage is your virtue, practice facing your fears and confronting challenges head on. By consistently aligning your actions with virtuous principles, you not only enhance your emotional resilience, but also find a deep sense of purpose and fulfillment in life. Rule 5. Embrace your mortality. Run down the list of those who felt intense anger at something. The most famous, the most unfortunate, the most hated, the most whatever. Where is all that now? The final rule of Stoicism encourages us to confront our mortality with courage and acceptance. By acknowledging the impermanence of life and the inevitability of death, we gain a profound perspective on our existence allowing us to live more fully and authentically. In our fast-paced, modern world, the awareness of mortality is often suppressed or ignored. We live as though we have an infinite supply of time, often prioritizing trivial concerns over what truly matters. However, the Stoics invite us to embrace our mortality as a powerful catalyst for personal growth 
and a reminder of life's preciousness. Consider the story of a stoic philosopher who, when asked why he wasn't afraid of death, replied, why should I be afraid of something I'll never experience? While this response may seem paradoxical, it encapsulates the stoic perspective on mortality. When we come to terms with our eventual death, we are liberated from the fear and anxiety that often accompany it. The Stoics believe that death is a natural part of life, just as birth is. It is not to be feared but accepted as an integral aspect of our existence. The awareness of mortality compels us to live with purpose and intention. Knowing that our time is limited, we are encouraged to make the most of each moment, to cherish our relationships, and to pursue our dreams and passions with unwavering determination. To embrace your mortality, take time to reflect on the impermanence of life. Contemplate the brevity of existence and the inevitability of death. This practice is not meant to induce fear, but to inspire a sense of urgency and purpose. By acknowledging your mortality, you can transcend the mundane and live a life that is truly meaningful and fulfilling. In the chaos of modern life, where emotions often run rampant, Stoicism provides a timeless and practical philosophy to regain control over our inner world. By following these five rules of Stoicism, we can embark on a transformative journey towards emotional mastery. 1. Understand what you can control. Recognize the boundaries of your control and focus your energy on what you can influence. 2. Embrace the power of perspective. View events as opportunities for growth and learning, choosing your interpretation to transcend negative emotions. 3. Practice negative visualization. Contemplate the loss of what you cherish to cultivate gratitude and emotional resilience. 4. Cultivate virtue as the highest good. Align your actions with virtuous principles to find lasting contentment and purpose in life. 5. Embrace your mortality. Acknowledge the impermanence of life and use it as a catalyst to live with courage, purpose, and authenticity. By integrating these stoic principles into your daily life, you can unlock the power to control your emotions, navigate life's challenges with grace, and find inner peace and fulfillment. Remember that stoicism is not a quick fix, but a lifelong journey, a path towards becoming the best version of yourself. As you embark on this journey, Take solace in the wisdom of the Stoics and their timeless teachings. Let their words inspire you to live a life guided by rationality, resilience, and the profound wisdom that comes from mastering your emotions. In the end, the truest victory is the conquest of oneself, and Stoicism offers the keys to that noble triumph.